Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial of Random Design. Today I would like to show you an easy and handy way how to introduce and fix metal eyelets into stretched fabrics. Because recently when I was working on the costume for Tiara from Soul Calibur 3 I really had a tough time. The metal grommet just did not hold in place due to the stretching qualities of the fabrics. So today I would like to show you a tiny trick how you can overcome this issue. Well, if you buy the eyelets, they usually come together with an eyelet setting tool. The eyelets themselves are composed of two parts, the lower and the upper part, and you can basically decide which one you want to see on top of your fabric at the end. As already mentioned, I'm using a stretched fabric today, where I would like to punch in the eyelet. First of all, I have to set a hole into the fabric, and therefore I'm using already this part of the eyelet setting tool. Take care that the even surface is on top and put your fabric on top of it. Then you are using the eyelet setting tool to punch in a hole with a few hammer strokes. So, just like this. So, especially if the tool was already used for several times, it's not so sharp anymore and then you can just use a tiny scissor to adjust the hole. Well, for setting the eyelet, you are using now exactly the same tool. However, take care that the metal ring is now upside down. Then the side with the furrow is on top. Into the furrow, you can perfectly fit then one part of the eyelet. Then you are putting your fabric on top and finish it with the upper part of the eyelet. The upper part of the eyelet has a furrow as well. In this case you also have to take care that the furrow of the eyelet shows to the inside because the two eyelets will grab into each other at this furrow. You can fix the eyelet then just again with the eyelet setting tool and a few strong hammer strokes. Yeah, maybe take care of your thumb. As shown here, the eyelet is placed nicely and it looks quite okay, it looks nice. You can see it from both sides. And if I just stretch this fabric a tiny bit, it's perfectly fine. However, you see that if there's a bit more tension, the fabric just escapes from the eyelet. And this really doesn't look nice, so you can completely remove this eyelet and actually you can trash it, you can't use it anymore. You can see that the fabric itself is not destroyed thereby. So, how to overcome this problem? You need a non-stretchy fabric as a basis, so to say. I like to use for this some artificial leather because it's not stretchy at all. First of all, I will draw the hole which I need for putting the eyelet on top of the leather fabric. This tiny hole I'm then just cutting roughly out with the scissor. Then I'm attaching the leather patch to the fabric below and I'm just fixing it with some needles. Then I will sew both fabrics to each other and this I'm usually doing by hand and just with a few rough stitchings. Just try to be as close to the hole as possible because later on the stitchings will be covered by the metal eyelet. So don't worry if they don't look so nice, you won't see it later on. You can now already see that the non-stretching fabric keeps the jersey on top in shape. Now I will set the eyelet again as I have shown you already before. So just put your fabric on top of the lower part of the eyelet. Put the upper part on top of it. And of course, here you can decide now which side of the eyelet you want to see on top. 
This is at this stage quite important because on the back side you have now a leather patch that you don't want to show. Fix everything by a few hammer strokes using the eyelid setting tool. Afterwards you can see that the eyelid nicely covers the stitching. If I'm now pulling very strongly, you can see that even under these conditions, the eyelid holds in place. So, the stretching fabric isn't leaving the eyelid even if I'm very, very strongly pulling. On the back you have the leather patch. As I already mentioned, this you won't see later on. So here you can see again my final result and you can see that even if I pull strongly on the straps, the eyelid holds in place. I hope with this tiny trick I could help you to improve the quality of your costume and also its wearability. And have fun making your costumes and see you next time. Bye!